Hey guys, welcome back to ADSR Massive Tutorials. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, get yourself subscribed, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. In this tutorial, we're gonna do a remake of the arpeggiator from the Noir and Hayes track that's just been released called Angel. And this is the sound we're gonna remake of this tutorial. And there's also gonna be a link appearing on the screen right about now. You can just download that patch directly from our website. So. Let's loop over this little section here. All I've got is this, it's a sustained G3 note uh, on the arpeggiator track or the massive track. And I've got this bus send, a little bit of reverb on a bus send. So turn that off for now, load up this instance of massive, create a new sound in here. And let's program the oscillator section first. So in oscillator one, I'm gonna keep it as a square saw, but I'm gonna take the pitch up by one octave, but I'm gonna detune it slightly. So. 11.92, everything else can stay the same. Turn on oscillator two now. Gonna make this a square wave uh, and detune this as well, but a bit more, gonna go 0.12 there on the detune. Keep everything else the same. Oscillator three, turn that on. Keep this as a sawtooth wave, detuned again, maybe 0 0.06 and keep everything else the same. So push that intensity up there. So yeah, another sawtooth wave there uh, and just got this detuned kind of synth sound now. Let's load up, uh, in fact, let's set the arpeggiator first. So in this first LFO slot, convert this into a stepper, activate the snap to grid function, sync it, keep the ratio at one over 16, and we only need to use eight steps here. And let's hold shift and click and drag the crosshair of this stepper and drop it onto the first pitch modulation box on all three oscillators and then hold Alt or Option, click and drag up to buy, to apply plus 12 semitones of pitch modulation on all three oscillators there. And now let's go ahead and set this arpeggiator pattern. So you can go plus 12 on the first step, plus seven, plus three, and do a similar thing in this kind of this descending sort of riff really, 12, seven, three, so. And it's going over 12 and then seven. So we get this like, kind of descending riff. It's sort of starting off quite high and then dropping down, staying in a minor scale really. So check the restart via gate button to get a nice consistent tone. Let's just check this envelope section, sharpen up that attack. And let's move to this voicing now, increase the voices to four. Just gonna uh, beef up the sound a little bit and let's take this master down a little bit. Okay, so let's activate a filter now. I'm gonna use the DAF filter. Pull the resonance to about a quarter of the way up and pull the cutoff right down. And let's go to the second LFO slot here, convert this to a performer, click and drag the crosshair of this performer over to the first modulation box and the cutoff frequency of the filter, click and drag up. And now let's sync this performer, keep the ratio one over 16 and push the X-Fade sequence all the way to the top. So we just got this sawtooth wave controlling this, this performer now. So it's getting a bit closer to the sound we're after really. Uh, and one thing we could do here is get rid of this uh, vibrato macro here and we could click and drag the crosshair this first macro over to the third modulation box on the cut frequency, activate the side chain modulation, check the arrow to up. So now this macro here is a volume control for this cut off frequency modulation that we've set up. So so we're getting that really nice kind of like plucky sort of arpeggiator sound that's quite like it is in the original track by Noir and Hayes. So let's go and set up some effects now. I'm gonna have a classic tube in here just to kind of drive the sound a little bit. And I have a chorus as well to thicken things up. Just take the offset down. Maybe the depth a bit as well. And let's activate the EQ and just take off some of the low end and then turn this bus send back on. It's just a little bit of reverb that we've got on the vintage verb. 
And then you, this is great for kind of automating it. So we could rename this macro down here, filter. So. A bit round about there. And let's just give it another spin. Nice and deep, like it is in that section there. So, yeah, pretty close, maybe not kind of 100%, but pretty close to the arpeggio in the original. So, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Hope you found it useful. Of course, you can just download the patch directly from the massivesynth.com website. Whilst you're there, check out everything else that's on the website. Loads more tutorials for Native Instruments Massive. And, yeah, thanks for watching. All right, cheers. Bye.